If you want to know what the critical angle is, then this is the right video for you. If you're new to refraction, you might want to consider checking out some of the early videos first and then coming back to this one. The first thing to be clear about is that when we're talking about the critical angle, we're always talking about light moving from a more dense substance to a less dense substance. So if you look at the diagram here, we've got a more dense substance at the bottom here that could be water, it could be glass, and the light is moving from this medium into a less dense medium, for example, air. And as we've seen in the previous videos, when light goes from a more dense substance into a less dense substance, it refracts away from the normal line. So the ray of light doesn't just carry straight on, it turns away from the normal line. If you look here, we've got the angle of incidence, and up here we've got the angle of refraction. The question I want to ask now is, what happens if we increase this angle of incidence? The ray of light drawn in green has got a larger angle of incidence, and as to be expected, it also has a larger angle of refraction. So continuing this, what would happen if we increase the angle of incidence even further? Here we've made the angle of incidence much larger now. So you can see that this would be the angle of incidence, remembering of course that we measure all angles to the normal lines. There's the angle of incidence. But very interestingly, we've made it so large that the angle of refraction, you can see the ray of light coming out like this, the angle of refraction is in fact 90 degrees. This is what we call the critical angle. The critical angle is simply the angle of incidence that gives us an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. And it always happens when we go from a more dense to a less dense substance. Each medium has a different critical angle. The critical angle for glass is about 42 degrees. The critical angle for diamond, for example, is only about 25 degrees. That's it for critical angle. If you wish to find out more about other aspects of GCSE physics, please click on the links and consider subscribing.